Of all the GTA clones I've played, Saints Row 2 is the best. But coming in second is Scarface, The World is Yours. I'm a big fan of the movie, and Tony Montana is one of my favorite movie characters ever. The game begins at the end of the movie, which I think was a stroke of genius. You actually get to take control of Tony just before he is to be shot in the back, and this time you can turn around and kill that asshole. You then fight your way out of your mansion, and the game has sure hit the ground running. In fact, the first mission might be the best in the entire game, at least if you've seen the movie. After spending some time recovering from taking who knows how many bullets, Tony makes his way back into town and finds his empire crumbled, and he begins his long journey to get it back. After getting back in touch with his lawyer, who changed from a fat southerner to a slick James Woods, Tony? I want Sosa's head on a fucking platter, man! Sosa, Tony? Impossible. Why? You got some kind of shortage of platters? He has a talk with Jerry, the banker. He buys back his mansion that had been impounded by Vice. Ready to start taking back the town, the people who stand in his way were all mentioned or seen in the movie. Gaspar Gomez. Fuck Gaspar Gomez! The Diaz brothers. Fuck the fucking Diaz brothers! Nacho Contreras. And of course, Alejandro Sosa. At the end of every chapter, when you get a new reputation level, Sosa calls up and taunts you. And even though the man who played him in the movie was dead, the voice actor did a perfect impression. Don't try to sell me anything, okay? It's Sosa, Tony. My sources tell me you're back, working the streets. Don't think you're going to get very far. I ran you out before. I will do it again. Get out of my face, man! He's also the final boss, of course. But unlike other games, this game knows that it's all about revenge. So when you finally face him, the game just tells you to unleash your rage and shoot the hell out of him. It's very satisfying. Another great thing about this game is the aiming system. It's honestly the best I've seen in a GTA clone up to GTA 4. You press L1 to lock on loosely, and then you can move a crosshair within that and shoot at specific spots. You get bonuses for shooting in different places, and the game even makes distinction between the left and the right nut. Seems a bit unnecessary, it could have just been nuts. The weapons are cool, my favorite one to use is obviously the M16 with a grenade launcher, just like in the movie, but you don't get the best weapons right away, you get better weapons as you progress and upgrade. You can even access your weapon supply from the trunk of your car, which is cool, and something that even GTA haven't done yet. Al Pacino refused to lend his likeness to the Godfather game for some reason, but he agreed with this one. He didn't supply his voice though, because over many years of smoking it's become quite different. But the voice actor Andre Sogliuzzo does a very fine job. Most of the time you don't even notice that it's not Al. And the sensation of being Tony Montana is a great asset to the game. The circle button is used to speak. And you can either just say something to yourself while walking. This is a fucking paradise, man. Taunt your enemies. Come on! I took you out the fucking house! Or converse with people. It's no Mass Effect, hey, but there are 250 short little hey, back and like forths, like and they're often entertaining. Tony, when you say Jew, you're not meaning that in any other way than mispronouncing it, am I correct? So what kind of donut do you like best, man, glaze or powder? What the fuck makes you think I like donuts? Your cup, right? All right, all right. Chalk another one up for living a stereotype. Powder. You're looking very special today, baby. Thank you, I know. Oh, do you know? Okay, so I guess you know about the shit stuck in your teeth, huh? Wow, you have such a way with words. Wish they were in English. It's you, not Chew. Jesus Christ. When you're in water, Tony will only talk about how he hates swimming, which is a nice touch. Fuck this swimming shit, man. Fuck, I hate swimming, man. Stay too long in the water, by the way, and you will get eaten by a shark. The downside to the conversation in this game is that Tony is more or less a misogynist here. And he wasn't like that in the movie. Not to this degree, anyway. Empowered woman? Ha! <laughs> there ain't no such thing, baby. When you want a real fuck, you come see me, okay? Maybe don't wear a bra next time, lady. Taunting your enemies gives you balls. Get enough balls and you can go into rage mode, which is awesome. The screen goes red and you go into first person mode where you're invincible and have auto aim. It feels very fitting, and it can also be a lifesaver since you get health back with every kill while in it. Tony will of course also be very talkative during it, and the music goes dramatic. Another part of being Tony Montana is being the boss. You have several henchmen at your disposal, and it's fun that if you hang up on them while telling them to bring your car or something, 
Tony will say something like this. Hey, fuck you, okay? Now Tony himself can't shoot innocent people. That's keeping consistency with the movie. If you try and shoot innocents, Tony will refuse it. This ain't in my fucking playbook, man. Running over them with your car, however, he's okay with. Hey, get the butterflies out of my grill while you're down there, okay? Not being able to shoot random pedestrians upset some people who were disappointed that you can't do rampages in a GTA-like game. However, once you've recruited henchmen, you can play as them. While playing as them, you are free to kill anyone, because the henchmen don't have the same morals as Tony. This game really drives home the feeling that you're running an empire. You buy property throughout the game, and then drug warehouses to distribute from. Every property requires you to do a mission first, and it's almost always the same. Tony says he wants to take over and make the owners a lot of money. They say that they'd love to do it, but they've got this or that problem in the way, that of course Tony has to take care of. Only one of the owners that I recall refused Tony's offer. But then he gets attacked, and after saving him, he changes his tune. If you don't sell me this place right now, I'm gonna kill you myself. How'd you like that? All right, all right. You proved yourself. You have all of Miami to play around in, and later on even a series of islands. The islands are a nice change of pace, and add some sense of exploration to the game. You can drive a nice array of cars and boats, but there are no motorcycles. One cool thing is that you don't have to jack cars if you don't want to. You can just tell the person driving to give up his car and he'll do it. Your car is polluting the air too much, okay? I gotta take it from you. The driving mechanics feel somewhat floaty. It's not bad, but certainly not as good as other GTA clones or any driving games. You can buy tons of stuff with your money, henchmen, investments, and cars or boats, but the furniture and collectibles serve little purpose other than getting reputation points. You can even buy the remains of Manny and Gina from the movie. I don't know if that's nice or creepy. The graphics are good, and I think the water looks very nice. I also love that pink sky, just like in the movie. The music is done a little different than in GTA games. You can listen to it anywhere for starters, not just in cars. And you can choose to listen to individual songs or by category. I usually choose to play with a Scarface movie soundtrack playing, but there's also a large amount of hip-hop and rap songs because of the movie's popularity in those circles. There's tons of celebrity voices in the game, but because there are so few enduring characters in the game compared to the movie, you only get to hear them once or twice, and that's it. They sneaked in some of the actors from the movie, which is nice. Steven Bauer, who played Manny, plays the Sandman, who acts like Sosa, Tony's new drug connection. But unlike Sosa, he's much nicer. Robert Loja, who played Frank, he says the name of every new property you enter for the first time. Pedro's Bonchamp. And every time you die, you're told that you're fucked up. Thanks. I think it's ironic how this game was labeled a ripoff of GTA Vice City, when Vice City ripped off the Scarface movie in the first place. Just like how Indiana Jones games are called Tomb Raider ripoffs, even though Tomb Raider is just like Indiana Jones with boobs. Anyway, I think Scarface The World Is Yours is a great game. It's got some issues and some unrealized okay, potential, go, but for fans of the movie it's a great way to get revenge on the movie, and get to see Tony have the world and keep it this time. It's a shame that the Xbox 360 version was cancelled. I would buy a HD re-release of this game any day. Adiós, amigo.